Hi, it's Sally again. I'm glad you're back. I um, welcome you to my um, my channel, <laughs> my new channel, and my um, studio here. And I thought, you know, I don't know if I told you when I was in, in my first video, but I'm working on some um, uh, little golden book uh, junk journals and I'm almost completed with them but I thought before I showed you that I might show you just some of the journals that I've made I've been making books for a long time and I've been making junk journals apparently <laughs> I didn't know they were called junk journals at first but um been making them since uh, uh, 2008 so 10 years this was one of the first ones that I made was this huge thing where I used a um, Webster, old Webster's Dictionary uh, page, I mean book, old Webster's Dictionary covers for the book, and then um, this is the back cover, and then um, look at this huge spine. This turned into a gargantuan book. I knew it was going to be pretty big because I wanted to use it to showcase some of the things that um, other artists have sent me over the years and um, just little bits and pieces of papers and and uh, images and so forth. So that's what I wanted to use it for and it just got bigger and bigger. So uh, it, it first came about back in 2008 when two friends of mine, Doreen Mintock and Sharon Tomlinson, came to visit me in my studio. Now, they stayed for the weekend, and we taught each other things. And one of the things that we dreamed up together was this book. And we decided that we would put on the spine this um, fabric, uh, upholstery fabric, so that we could sew the signatures into that really kind of tie them in so we could take them out and use the cover over again. Well, it didn't end up that way, but we, we spent that weekend making some, uh, gathering together some pages, some journal pages, I mean, uh, uh, ledger pages and all kinds of different papers to use as, as papers in our book, as pages in our book. So, we got started that weekend, but we didn't, of course, finish it. Later on, I finished uh, mine, and one of the things that we decided before the weekend was over was that the upholstery fabric was not going to be, it was going to be too flimsy. The book was going to really move around. It still moves around some, but but we decided to use inside the, let me get to the middle of a signature here or at the end of a signature, between signatures is what I want to show you. Um, I don't know, can you see this uh, looks like uh, checkered, or not check, but anyway, it's wire. It's called hardware wire. This is what it looks like. This is hardware wire. It's wire, little wire squares, and you get it in a big roll at like Home Depot or Lowe's or some, the hardware store. It comes in humongous rolls. You could go together with 10 people and have enough to make books for a long time. But we decided to put that wire because it was pretty substantial uh, in on the, on the back. Now, um, couple of uh, somebody did only the wire and didn't I think that was Duren made one book later on with no fabric cover just the wire so I'm going to show you a couple of different things here's one that I started pardon me for the reach I started back then and uh, it's pretty flimsy because it doesn't have anything sewn in but this this was the cover of it and then you can see on the spine, you can see the hardware. I just covered it up down the middle with um, some fabric and decorated uh, ruler, etc. But anyway, so this was the cover of that book. And so you can kind of see how I could have left this decoration off the middle and I would just have had the stuff on the spine. And when you do that, you can certainly... Um, uh, camouflage it by, you know, tying in these signatures with ribbon and making bows back here. Um, in, a, in a sense, that's what I did with this one, although I didn't use the hardware spine, I just used the book. But I tied them in with uh, sorry silk ribbon and 
and they just bunched up here on the edge. So I'll show you that one in a minute. But I just wanted to show you, if, I'm sorry, I keep hitting the tripod. I'm so new at this. Um, so I wanted to show you what, what this one looks like on the inside. Um, here's a little pocket. I just can't believe we were doing these things back in 2008. I, I don't know. I just, uh, there's a, that, that was going to be my information in there. There's a little title page on the book, Art Happens. Uh, this is walnut ink paper and uh, some gold powder over it. And it's, see, we were sewing. Look at the stitches on this. We were sewing things in. I don't know. And here's a little couple of clowns that I drew and put on the back of that. This was a um, hand-dyed piece of fabric that I made in one of DJ Pettit's workshops. Here is some what I call yummy brayered paper, y'all. This is made from a... Um, grocery sack and it's got acrylic ink and webbing spray and all sorts of blingy inclusions sequins and beads and all sorts of things so it's really textural and really cool i love that paper here's just a couple of pictures of this is a picture of a four by four we called them fat books back then uh, they, they were swaps and you made enough pages for everybody in the swap to have your page in their book and uh, this is an actual page. This is the page. It's not a picture of it. And it was the birds, uh, Blackbirds, Blackbirds book. Oh, and here's a piece that I plan to put on here. Probably cut those white things off. But uh, at any rate, uh, this was an image that I did. Actually, I did this uh, for oh, a swap in a, in a book. But then I took a picture of it because I used it in a... Uh, CD that was a swap to swap some music with each other and we all uh, designed our cover for the CD and I used that image but anyway this is paper and some extra ribbon sewn on and these were some I'm gonna put these in here apparently these are some uh, Christmas that's a Christmas card I made this was the original and then I did uh, prints of them and since I was out one year. So it has also some places to, to put other things and to write, to journal, and apparently I was going to use these. This is one of the stickers that I used on the, on the music CD for that swap. Here's uh, this, sorry, this was a uh, t-shirt transfer done onto deli paper. And a little paper doll I made that's on tissue paper. See, we put all kinds of paper in here. And there's the other side of that blingy, um, uh, yummy brayered paper, I call it. And then uh, the other side of the fabric I dyed. And here's, this was a just a, you know how you use your trash pa pages. You put a page down and you paint all over your project. And when you get through, you have junk. Well, I had this junk and I saw a face in it. So I finished it off and put it in here. Uh, here's a napkin. Can I, I just can't believe we were using text and napkins and sewing. Amazing. I, a lot of these things, that, that was the end of the first signature and you here you can see the the uh, hardware cloth in the middle sometimes I tie in other things or just ribbons so that you don't see that but not in this book this was handmade paper that was a, a artist trading card I got from someone here is a, a birthday card I got from my friend Duren now the card itself the artwork was by Robin Marie Smith but Duran took me. And one of the things I do is if, if I want to be able to take the card out and look at the back, which I certainly wanted to do in this case, I didn't want to glue it down, I use photo corners to keep the piece in and then you can take it in and out as you want to. Paint it around it. These were some of her Moo cards. If you don't know what Moo cards are, they were some cards we used to use. They're pe little pieces from uh, artwork that we had done. This was Duren's artwork, and she, they're, they're like little calling cards or uh, business cards. And this was just a piece that I liked that I found in one of my uh, card boxes. This is wallpaper. Uh, here was just a little card that I got somehow or other with a, a tag. I think this was from 
I don't know. I don't remember. It was 10 years ago. Give me a break. This one was from Sarah Fishburne, I do believe. Yes. A, a postcard that she made for me. I love that. And the little booklet's put in with brads and then just closes with this string closure. This was mail art. We were big into mail art around that time, and I had a group of people that just exchanged mail art. This is Sharon Tomlinson's uh, envelope. Well, the first half of it to me, and the other half we'll see in a minute. She made some good. This is Sharon's a piece, a picture of Sharon's uh, work. This was another guy that I liked, Theo Ellsworth. I just loved his detailed little fun pictures, and I learned about him through Tisha Moore. And then this was one of my favorite mixed media artists, Claudia Rollier, and she sent me this little trading card, and um, I just loved the front of this. It was just my first go-round at mixed media junk, and this was the postcard she sent. Oh, you couldn't see that, could you? That was the postcard, the back of the postcard. Okay, and then Greg Spelinka is one of my professional artists that I like. Um, and he sent me a little card. This is one of his works. Well, picture of it, obviously. And I used, um, what do you call it? Tape? I'll think of it in a minute. That's, that's, uh, uh, video amnesia. <laughs> you have amnesia when you're doing a video. Duct tape, that's what it is. Jesse Reno is one of my very favorite artists. Some of you I know have done workshops with him in California. Um, there's another Greg Spelinka. This little piece I haven't put in yet, but it was a uh, artist stamps by a friend of mine, Adriana Hawks. And here's some wallpaper. Here's one of Duren's business cards. One of their advertisements. Duren and Sharon did a workshop, and it's still available from time to time online, an online workshop. And it's awesome making these um, uh, jewelry pieces. And this is a little fabric pocket and some cards I got from someone that I um, ordered something from. Little thank you cards. Uh, apparently, oh yes, I was going to stick that on there. This is some handmade paper that I actually made with yarn pieces in it, and yarn inclusions. There's another Jesse Reno. Look at this. We put a old ledger page in. I just... This is a fabric postcard that was actually sent to me in the mail by a quilter friend of mine. She's a, she's a, actually an art historian, but by trade, but she um, she quilts also. And uh, this was just one of my illustration artists that I love, professional artists. This was a um, this is a little picture of a card by Duran. She always did the most lovely little uh, mixed media pieces. And that's transparent pocket there on that sheet. And then this was some angels that I painted in watercolor, just on a junk piece of paper, and I stitched a paper towel over the end of it, made a pocket out of it on this side. These are bookmarks that I made from our for our First Christian Church art exhibit. And um, showed pictures, some of the pictures that were in the exhibit. This is more mail. I, I know this is a large, huge book, and I don't want to spend forever on it. But this was more mail art. This is a postcard from an artist friend. Um, let me see. Oh, no, it wasn't. It was, this was from, oh, yes, it was. This one is by Stephanie Rubiano. Then this was a card that was sent to me by my, given to me by my friend. It was sent to her from from her friends, and uh, she knew I collected uh, postage stamps, so she gave me that card. I thought it was awesome. And here's a little card done by Sarah Fishburn, and here's a metal plate piece with fabric, um, uh, quilted fabric on it and a and an image that was done by Kathy Wasluski, Mrs. Was, some of you know her by. And this was just the back of a of a uh, decorated paper bag and um, grocery bag and I put this little fabric pocket in with a little gold tipped feather. I don't know if you can see the bling on it, but anyway, it's gold tipped. 
And there's the other end of that envelope. And um, another Jesse Reno rubber stamp. This is another piece, one of my favorite pieces that Doreen did back then. This was from a girl in the university here in town. This is a just a piece of fabric, uh, Indian fabric that I had. I put the little piece on the edge there. Jesse Reno, more of my in illustration guys. Um, and a piece from the Bensentine icons. This was an advertisement for a teacher who taught painting icons. The other end of that paper, here was a little, I got this little friendship cup from a swap that I was in. And uh, this is more male art uh, sent to me from Sharon Tomlinson. She does the greatest male art. Look at this piece. And this is a little bitty uh, envelope with stamps and stamping and a little tag that was uh, made by Sharon. <laughs> On the front it says, I was having fun. And I put it in this little envelope. More wallpaper sample. This is by uh, Diane Cook, Rosa and Josie's. From Rosa and Josie's, you guys know her probably. She's a wonderful jewelry artist, but she was doing mixed media back then too. This is one of my friends that does um, rubber stamping, and she made these little postage stamps. And this was Jesse Reno's girlfriend at the time. Don't know if he married her or she's not his girlfriend anymore or what. This was from uh, Sarah Fishburn. I loved this little um, uh, cabinet card, and she covered it with mica and put something for Sally on there. And there's a little another side of this envelope with a little piece, I think, by Stephanie. Some of his words were not Sunday school words. No, that was from Sue Berry. Sue Berry, I had loaned her some tags and she was thanking me for it. And uh, this is mail from Barb Dunbar. This was just a piece from mail that I got in the, in the mail. And there's the other end of Sharon's uh, envelope. This was a wonderful artist I knew back when we were doing all these swaps. It was Kim Logan, and I always adored her work. This is a uh, artist trading card that she did. I put black lace on this page as well as duct. No, that's not duct tape. That's painted paper and uh, on wallpaper. This is a piece from Michaelopoulos in New Orleans. He's a professional um, artist there. And um, this is a friend, uh, a friend of mine, Pilar Pollock, did this huge postcard. It was beautiful. Loved it. And then just decorative de designer paper and paper that I purchased. More mail art. Mail art. Just a page to put things on. Pages. So there's, I've still got a lot of room in this to add some of my things from people. This was... Um, from, this was from Tisha Moore. Sorry, I keep knocking the camera. And fabric on the edge with a little loop for my paintbrush in case I wanted to paint in here. Uh, this was a blueprint page that um, I sewed this image on uh, so that it's like a little sewn collage. And then this was a piece of uh, mail art. Isn't that awesome? That was just awesome. It's a place I could tuck something. This was from Jill Jones. These are just some art tags that I could write on. This was by my friend Trinelle Barham, Pressed Flowers, way years ago. Years ago. This was one of Tisha Moore's uh, pieces, a, a picture of it, photo of it. This is one of uh, Tisha Moore's, I mean, not Tisha Moore, uh, DJ Pettit. And this is DJ Pettit's. Um, I took a workshop from her and I got this little piece of, of uh, image on uh, uh, or organdy or organza cloth. And uh, I sewed the little flowers on. I was real proud of, of sewing those. I don't know if you can see those. i got to show them to you, though. You can see those little ribbon flowers there. And um, let me move this book out of the way. There we go. And let's see. Just 
junk pages. See, we just put junk pages in. This was another piece from Sharon. Sharon was really great at doing faces, and I'm sure she still is. Haven't seen Sharon in a while. This was just some junk paper I had. This was a little uh, photo envelope that I got, and this is a little envelope made from a doily. And uh, these, these are. This was a little place to put moo cards, so I put moo in. I stitched the word moo on there, and then I put a little fl uh, flap. This was an envelope, and I put the sti the uh, stamps here too. And so I had just a perfect little place for little moo card, extra moo cards that I got in the mail. These are from different people different artists so anything I got in the mail from people I just loved putting in here and um, so then there's just some decorated paper and some undecorated paper some th places to put things in the back I'll be completing filling it up and putting things as folds out and uh, there's the other end of the blueprint so I'm ju I just had fun here's a little cloth doily that I put in there and watercolor paper a postcard by a local uh, two local artists that had a show together two of my friends and uh, this was just some mail art I put a piece of one of my fat book pages in here I don't remember who this was from um, nor do I remember who this was from it might have been Pilar but then it might not have been either I don't know who that was I loved that Here's a little card from Spelinka, Greg Spelinka. This was a little get well card from Lou McCullough. I appreciated that. This is a fella that does uh, uh, faux st uh, postage stamps. And what he does is he matches real postage stamps. So the real postage stamp is on the bottom here. You're not, I'm not even in where you can see it. Here, the real, oh great Sally. The real postage stamp is down here. He put it upside down, and there's his to match it. But do you remember this little uh, angel image at, on the stamp? And he put the body. He made a stamp with the body on it. I thought that was precious. Then I just have junk pages in here to... Um, dropped something. This must have been the stone out of my ring, huh? And music paper, and here was a piece that Sharon worked with us on that weekend and taught us to do do our do some faces and some napkin art and painting, and it, that was a lot of fun. And I just think I have just more pages and more. This was an image on on uh, mail from Sharon, and uh, if you can see that this is a face right here, two eyes. A uh, nose comes down like this, and a little fat, fat lips, and then great big hair with ringlets coming down. And she says, sometimes I get the big head. <laughs> she has a great sense of humor. And let's see what else. That's just the other end of that. And then in the end of the book, I tied in. You see, there's a place where I tied in with with uh, crochet ribbon or some kind of f uh, just yarn or whatever. I tied in this padded envelope, and so I keep the things that I'm collecting to put in this book right in here. So that's where that was very comfortable. And the inside of this book was old marbled, an old marbled sheet. I just left that like it was because I loved it. This is what the cover looked like, the both covers, front and back. And the spine again with buttons. Look how... I don't know. I wonder how big that spine is. Let's check it out. It's a four-inch spine. <laughs> it's probably one of the biggest ones I've ever done. Okay, so there's that book. And then let's take a quick look at this one. This one is this one is pretty short. This is a little thin book. I think you know this is the size of those little um, sketchbooks. The well, the big sketchbooks that you can get at the bookstores and so forth that were black. This one was black. I don't think it was a sketchbook. I, I was looking at the inside. I think it was just some other book. But anyway, I used gesso and dripping paint acrylic on the front and back cover. And then I, as I said, on this one for the spine, after I took the book pages, the original book pages out, I put um, eyelets, two eyelets up all the way up 
and then you'll see how I tied the signatures in. I'll show you in a minute. Covers just a padded piece with fabric and so forth. The inside cover is fabric, uh, upholstery fabrics, different ones in lace, and then this image with the bird picture that I found in a magazine, I think. This is a paper towel with a little piece on it. This was watercolor paper with gesso on it and rub-ons on the corner. Let's see how we're doing in frame. And um, these were just, this is just some, you know, decorated paper. Here's a little lace on the edge. And this is just so similar to what we do now that I just can't get over having done it then. This is a little picture that's covered over with organza fabric. This was handmade paper I did in the DJ Pettit workshop. Here's another little photograph that I took of this lovely animal. <laughs> and uh, this page has a has a tab that's made from, you know, the, the cleaner's tabs that you get when you get your clothes cleaned. And has a little dangle hanging from a garment pin here. And then here's a little rusted safety pin. And this is a piece from... Uh, uh, manila folder that was sent to me in the mail. That's where you rip it open, you know. I just used that. There was a picture of a piece that I did in someone's journal. And then um, this page has got a little envelope on it. This is like a half page. It's got a little envelope on it. And it has a little decorated playing card in there. And then on the other side is another little playing card and then just a little piece on this little uh, collaged piece sewn in on this rubber stamps and stenciling on this page this is a rub on on this tablet sheet and a rusted um, doily this was a gessoed green bag just a bag and here's a little um, this was a paint color chip and I covered the colors with the uh, washi tape and then put a little stone down here and a little picture of two girls on the picture on the back. And uh, that's just a little bookmark. And there's a little birdie that I just attached on this side. This picture of an angel and I just did all sorts of paper and lace and this little bottle cap that says rock and roll on the inside. <laughs> and then... These are gessoed envelopes that are opened out with little pieces attached to them sewn to get sewn on. See, this is where the sorry tape, this is the middle of the signature and that's where the sorry uh, ribbon, not tape, the sorry silk ribbon was put through to tie all the way back through to the spine. So that's how the signatures were put in. You can probably see between these pieces of ribbon, the signature was first, I sewed all the way down the middle of the signature so it would go nowhere, and then I tied it in so I could have some ribbon on the spine. Lovely little tag tab sewn on. Fabric pe flip piece. Just some paper, just the pages to write on. This has a little uh, card in it. You can write on if you want to. I'll probably put pictures on it. I don't know. We'll see. Something else must be in there. There's a picture that I had had uh, published in a magazine. A picture of a piece that I sent. It was mail art. And the other end of that tablet. Here's a little postcard that I altered. And put the uh, raggedy edge on the page. And a little um, duct tape tab with with a button on it and another little place to tuck uh, this this uh, postcard and this is a little uh, clear uh, pocket that I could put this cigarette card I think it is in it an old vintage card and stamp and stamps this was a postcard that I I uh, altered I mean a <laughs> not a postcard a uh, photograph a shiny photograph that I altered and just then some little doodads on the edge of this page and a drawing I did on it and I don't know just places to put things here's three little uh, different kinds of ta uh, tags that I did I always say do something on the back of the tag because no matter what 
you do the front and it's gorgeous, but people are going to go, let's see, oh, nothing back there. <laughs> and this was a patch that was made by Tisha Moore. This was just another watercolor page with gesso. And this was the other end of that um, paper towel. Little piece of an anatomy uh, card from an anatomy card box. Just decorated. This is a little pen that says love. It's a bling, blingy thing. It's really neat. And just with uh, upholstery fabric on the edge of the page and stenciling. And then this was done with a napkin. These, This was the napkin, and this was a piece of it, done on text paper edged with gold. And then this page was stenciled, and then I put the, <coughs> excuse me, put the um, napkin on it. This is a cute little uh, dangle. It's just a little piece of lace in a, in a dangle. I thought that was neat. Now this starts a little section of uh, <laughs> of rusted things. I have my husband laughs at me because I have a rust farm out in the back. It's actually a big pan, a big uh, cookie sheet like pan that has um, washers and paper clips and anything that I can find that's metal that'll rust in it, and I, it just sits out there on the uh, deck forever and it rains on it and all that and so they get real rusty and then I go out there and if I want to rust lace I can put the lace down in it and get it rusty or paper I can rust paper and it's just lots of fun here's a paper towel I rusted isn't that the coolest thing and that's a little doily that I sewed on and this is an envelope just an envelope with a postcard in it and this is, I like to take little strips of uh, text out of a, a romance novel or something. <laughs> and this one says, her great aunt told her the story and the aunt said that nobody knew all of it. I thought that was intriguing. And then this is just a little page. This is a painting I did on newsprint that this is temper paint. And then I just decorated it. More little places. There's a rusted envelope. There's a little envelope with one of those t-shirt transfers on it and fabric on the flap and then just a little card inside. It's not, this was a picture I drew on there. I copied something, I'm sure. This is a lace piece. A little dangle, little pearl dangle on it. Fabric. This was a, a really heavily dyed coffee, coffee dyed paper with lots of uh, gold powders in it and uh it just uh, was just an awesome piece i loved it and this is a transparency of this little girl over here on this side and there there is a a saying on here it says children children's children are a crown to the aged i thought that was really pretty here's a little strip of lace little metal clip other end of that envelope. This is a piece, a picture of a little encaustic painting I did of this big old bird, <laughs> or a little bitty bird, whatever. More lace on this on this rusted envelope. It's a little. This is a little file folder to put things in. This was the back of the uh, pa painted uh, newsprint. This is the back of it, and I put. Um, tissue paper, wadded tissue paper, and did it, uh, painted it over with gesso, and sewed this little pocket of real leaves in the paper that I, I bought, that decorative paper, and this uh, is a piece of bark off of one of my trees outside, and a little, little uh, sticker that says treasures in gold, and just junk on the edges here. The rest of my, uh, this is some paint, painting I do with uh, with uh, rubber stamp ink. Uh, I use a brayer and real, uh, I spray the brayer after I put the ink on it and then it makes it real watery. This is an embossed card, library card, and more of the rusted paper towel. This was a transfer of this little baby on this 
picture and here's uh this is a cane company card a little piece of lace stapled to it and it has a little uh dangle a couple of little dangles over here and it says please write all the really important stuff here <laughs> and this was gesso transfers where you stick the paper down the, the uh, image down on gesso and let it transfer this was a another kind of paper transfer on the tab there and this is just a library card made a pocket out of a map these are strips of yummy brayered paper and scrapbook paper here is a peacock feather in this little fabric can you see that in this little fabric pocket I'll put the peacock feather in there and then there's this little booklet I think it's a card I think it's an envelope. <laughs> I don't, didn't remember. It's heavily uh, uh, done with uh, walnut ink, actually, and uh, and coffee dyeing. And then there's just a little card in here. See possibility everywhere. And there's a card from the Huntsville Antique Show that happens here every September. And that goes right in there. And then on the end of on the end page inside the back cover is this envelope has a little metal tab and piece of fabric on it some sewing it's a little little envelope it was a just a kind of a papery envelope that I did this collage on and then here's a little collage I sewed on and when I sewed the things on this came out I thought it looked like a pineapple I liked that I never did finish anything on the back of it but I still got it in here so that was just by way of showing you some of the things that we did 10 years ago and how you know some of those things are still around today some of the things we thought we invented but I guess we didn't my next video will show this little book I wanted to show you this one I really adore this book and this was done with uh, with uh, hardware cloth as the spine and everything's just tied into it and this wasn't a book that I put a I put this twirly uh, adornment on the front but I'll show you that in the next video if you're interested in seeing it I thank you for hanging around so long and looking at my old things and I'll see you later bye